What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a dog's team, courtesy of Rondon. Thank you, Rondon, for making this team. Now, anyway, this team is just stacked full of dogs. We've got Entei, which is a lion, which is a type of dog. We've got Suicune, which I don't really know what that is, but it's a dog, trust me. Zamazenta's a dog. You can't argue with me on that one. We've got Umbreon over here, which is some sort of dog cat thing, but it's it's I feel like it's dog. Like look at those back legs. I'm feeling dog from that. And then you might go, but Jordy Sableye's not a dog. Maybe. Maybe. It is bipedal, and it's got that weird looking head. But my sister had a dog that looked a lot like that. It looked a lot like a Sableye, if I'm being honest, so I'm gonna count it. And then there's Cresselia, which, um, uh, yeah, I don't got anything for Cresselia. Anyways, this looks like a fun team. Let's hop onto the ladder with it. All right, we've got an Ice Horse matchup here. Ooh, and it's Instruct Ice Horse. That's terrifying. Fortunately, Zamazenta has a great matchup into Ice Horse. Um... Sableye seems pretty good here, too. Prankster Taunt is great. They don't have any of that priority blocking nonsense. And then who else? Suicune and Entei are okay into the Ice Horse. Um, I'm just checking Terra types. Uh, we don't have any Terra Grass for that Amoongus, so Sableye's Taunt is going to be important. A foul play from Sableye is good. Umbreon also has foul play. That could be pretty good. So it's one of the two dogs up here. The dogs who are actually cats, and then the cat who's actually a dog. Who can Zamazenta fear most? The bear, most likely. I think Umbreon does a little bit better into the bear. And so does Suicune, but Entei seems nice too. I'm gonna go with Entei because I'd rather be able to hit Amoongus. Hitting Amoongus seems important. And we've got double Snarls now. Because Entei has Snarl and Umbreon has Snarl. And we also got double Foul Play. Okay, that's a cool shot. That tree is pretty cool. Alright, let's see how you're playing this. Oranguru and Urshifu. Dark one. Oh, I don't care about the dark one at all. Fine. Zamazenta eat Dershifu for breakfast. Uh, what's my... S well, I guess they might be a slow one. My speed is fast. Wow. Okay. Because, yeah, Zamazenta just has a naturally high base speed. I'm going to just body press. I'm going to throw a taunt at Oranguru, just to see. See if it works. Typically, they're mental herb, but... No, they're not mental herb this time. Okay, that did... Wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh, and you're jolly, so... Cool. Goodbye, Urshifu. That did so much damage. And it wasn't Sash. Uh, that might have been, like, Choice Band. Okay, we blocked the Trick Room. That's good. Ooh, Zamazenta, you took so much damage there. Sorry. I didn't mean to have that happen. Um. I think I will iron defense to try to do some damage. And taunt the Amoongus. Amoongus just protects. Okay, are they gonna go for psychic or foul play? That might be their play here, but I should be able to knock- Oh, and maybe I can't knock them out. Maybe next turn they'll go for Rage Powder. They're gonna go for a double Psychic into Zamazenta. Cause I don't think I get knocked out from a Psychic here. Probably. 57 down to 23. Is some... I might be able to take the Handle Screen? I don't know. Anyway, I'll just protect and taunt Amoongus. Like, why not? Amoongus probably can't knock out Zamazenta even from here. Uh, and I'm doing this because I expect a Rage Powder, meaning I can't knock out a Ranguru. 
Yeah, that's exactly what their play was. Nice try. That's a good play. I like how much passive stuff they have left, but I don't have much damage left either once Samazenta goes down, which should be soon. Oranguru shakes off the taunt. Alright. Time for a body press into Oranguru. And probably another taunt into Oranguru, if I'm being honest. Body press you. Taunt you just in case. Just in case you take this, or our Focus Sash. You do take it. Okay, and it's just a Psychic. Fine. At least you never got Trick Room. Oh, are you gonna side Pollen Pump or something? So annoying. Uh, no, just Pollen Pump into Sableye. Whatever. I'm gonna start sweeping you with Entei now. Welcome to the field, Entei. Yeah, we've already knocked out Urshifu. They probably have Ice Rider in the back. Getting them to burn Terra on Amoongus would be fine by me. And I'll just foul play a Rancor to finish that off. Because they have to Terra either the Amoongus or the Ice Horse to not get Sacred Fired. I think they would want to Terra the Amoongus, because that way they can start Rage Powdering away fire moves as long as they're not taunted. But they'll be taunted again shortly. Oh, no Terra on the Amoongus. We get some good damage off. There's the burn we needed. <laughs> Doesn't matter on Amoongus. Uh, just a Psychic into an Assault Vest Entei does basically nothing. And then you were actually faster than my Sableye. Okay. Probably not a min speed Oranguru then. We're in Pollen Puff into Sableye, does another tiny little piece. Alright, the important question is, has it run out? No, you're still taunted? Great. Uh, you're going to... Terra your Ice Horse. You're gonna bring in Ice Horse here, you're gonna Terastalize the horse. Yep. Hello, Calyrex. I'm going to just finish the Amoongus, who's still taunted, right? Yeah, Amoongus can't protect, but Calyrex could, and probably will Terra. So I'm going to Sacred Fire, get rid of Amoongus. Put up Reflect. Reflect will help me a lot in the long run. I wonder what the speed interaction is between Calyrex and this Sableye. I won't be able to see when I'm click clicking Reflect, though. I have to click Foul Play to see. Alright, pick a move. You've only got like one move you can do, and that's Terra the Ice Horse, High Horsepower, and Entei. I was considering tearing just because of that, but like... Okay, it's Terra Water. That's a good one to have, but you're not immune to burn. Get our Reflect up. I, I didn't want to commit to the Terra just in case they did go for like Glacial Lance, or if their coverage move was close combat instead of High Horsepower. That would have been bad. Plus Reflect, I think we can take one hit anyway. Oh, and it was just Glacial Lance. Fine. Sableye hangs on! Alright! Alright. Speed check. You are... 55. So it matters if they're min speed or not. Their min speed is slower than Sableye. Letting them get a KO to boost the foul play damage is funny. Uh, Sacred Fire... And... I guess I just go for a foul play here. What's the Terra on Umbreon? Fairy? That doesn't help at all. So I go for Terra Dark Foul Play with Sableye. <laughs> oh, it feels like the right play. Uh, and burn, the way Burn works, the Foul Play user has to be burned to have the damage. So if I burn Calyrex, that won't weaken this Foul Play at all. It, it's weird, but that's just how it is. Okay. Do I get the burn? I do! 
<laughs> awesome. I think you still probably take out Sableye, but uh, not after I get a big hit in. You got a huge attack stat. Great damage, Sableye. Never said that before. Okay, set your trick room. See if I care. I will... I mean, you can't knock us both out. You either have to Glacial Lance, in which case you take us... Um, might as well Extreme Speed. Extreme Speed's my strongest move anyway. And just Foul Play. How much does that do? Almost enough. You will hang on for the turn. Oh! <laughs> you were faster the whole time! <laughs> you played yourself, Calyrex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good game, though. <laughs> Sableye, why are you slower than that thing? That's funny. Uh, good game, anyway. And good trainer card. Alright, we've got a Maridon here. A Maridon with Blood Moon. Um, it's a little bit different than the Maridon that won the regional. They've got a Gapdos. Okay. Uh, Zamazenta... So only two physical attackers? Okay, well, we need light screen. And we need something that can take out Zamazenta. Not Zamazenta, uh, Maridon. Which is, I guess, Entei. It might be our best bet. It has Snarl, Stomping Tantrum. Snarl is okay into that team, except the Zapdos could be really scary. Uh, we do bring Zamazenta anyway. I mean, it's not bad here, by any means. And then the question is Umbreon, Suicune, Cresselia. I think Cresselia for some healing. I don't know if we'll be able to get enough healing. Ally Switch might be what we'd be clicking with Cresselia, if I'm being honest. It's Ally Switch, plus two priority. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Uh, it's slower than E speed. They don't have that. They have the the move I'm worried about was Encore, but oh oh Zapdos Whimsicott. Who do I want to take out? Who's more threatening? Honestly, I think the Whimsicott is more threatening. I'm gonna Sacred Fire that right off the bat. And just set up a Reflect. Huh. I honestly thought Zapdos would be threatened by this lead. There's so many sources of burn. And you're just... gonna... double Sableye? Well, I'm kinda sad I never got Light Screen. I probably should've just done Light Screen. Uh, we know they're faster than Entei, but they're slower than Whimsicott. They're not Scarf, then. Whimsicott Sash, I can pick that off with an E speed. Yeah, and then Zamazenta should be pretty good. So Zapdos isn't doing much. We've got Reflect. Ah, oh, I should have got Light Screen. This is... Maridon's gonna be trouble. But I'm wondering if I just leave Whimsicott alone for a second? Sacred Fire the Zapdos. And get up a get up a boost. Yeah, that's what I want to do, because if I take out Whimsicott, that gives them a free swap. Into potentially Maridon. But if they're just clicking Moonblast, that's not doing too much. Oh, they have Taunt! That's neat! That's really cool, actually. I hate you! <laughs> but that's cool! That's really cool! Uh... Who am I terroring in this matchup? Probably Cresselia. I need to get rid of both of these things. Oh my goodness.
I'm gonna Sacred Fire Zapdos and just pre I can't protect Zamazenta. And bring in Cress. Because my best bet against Maridon might be Terra Electric Cresselia. <laughs> oh boy. Encore me into Sacred Fire, why don't ya? Isn't that what I was clicking anyway? Whatever. And then the Thunderous Kick that way, okay. That defense drop is not very important since I'm taking out your physical attack. Being locked in to Sacred Fire is annoying. There's Maridon, cool. I imagine you're not too threatened by a Sacred Fire. But I'm gonna throw it anyway. I'm gonna Terra Electric. I'm going to Icy Wind. Take out that annoying Whimsicott. Slow down your Maridon. And if I take out Whimsicott, if they let me, that is, uh, then you can't get rid of the speed drop. And Zamazenta will be faster than you. I gave up my defense boost, which is annoying. But I don't think... I mean, if you go after Entei, you can probably KO it. If that's what you want to do. I don't know if that's what you want to do here, though, because you know I'm locked in to Sacred Fire, which isn't going to hurt anybody. Tailwind, Encore, Moonblast, Protect is what I'm expecting that Whimsicott to have. It could Protect here. Okay, uh, show me you hit Cress. I think that's in a Cress. Yeah! No! <laughs> what is that damage? Maridon is not okay. Oh my goodness. Who thought this thing? Oh, that's great damage. Whoever made Maridon was not okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, maybe Entei's faster. I don't know. Entei needs some speed investment to be faster than a minus one Maridon. Ugh. Okay, well, Zamazenta doesn't care about that too much. You can take out that here. Come on, good speed number. 121, that's not enough. Zamazenta is faster than Maridon now. And they can only use Sacred Fire. Well, I can't swap, so I'm gonna throw a Sacred Fire. Do I try an ally switch? Just to be cheeky? I don't see a better play. I assume they just fa they faked out the... They faked out the wrong... That Did you see that text glitch? What happened there? Okay, they did go after that. Fine. I tried to be cheeky there. Um, so who got faked out? Was it Entei with Cresselia's name and HP stat? That was very confusing. I'm not- I'm very confused by whatever just happened there. Oh, uh, but Zamazenta should be faster. Body press hopefully KOs Maridon from here. Uh, helping hand would be nice, but I don't got that, so I just have to hope. And I'll throw up a Lunar Blessing. And Body Press. For all the cheese! Whew! Yes! Good dog! <laughs> okay. What? I'm so confused as to what happened that last turn, because neither of my Pokémon could flinch. There was Covert Cloak, and there was Inner Focus. Uh, but I need to rewind that and see what happened there. Even if you burn me, I have Lunar Blessing to cure it, so... Yeah. You're done, Insin. Whew! That was intense. Maridon is so strong. But I think, I think what happened is Entei got hit by the Fake Out. 
but the text said Cresselia's name on Entei's HP bar because it was anticipating the ally switch. Or something like that. That was so weird. Cool trainer card. That's an awesome trainer card. All right, we've got, ooh, it's the other dog. All right. Uh, they've also got their own screens user. They have a Chen Pao and a Latios. Uh, and they have a Nihilate and a Moongus. Cresselia is gonna be pretty important for healing. But otherwise, Zamazenta should be able to go pretty crazy. Uh, I'd worry mostly about uh, the Annihilate being Final Gambit. Uh, we do have Protect on Zamazenta. I wonder if I just put up... Okay, who can handle that? Who can handle Annihilate? So we have Taunt Sableye, that's good for Amoongus. Um, I definitely want Zamazenta. I want to set up Zamazenta as soon as possible. Uh, I guess Sableye lead is fine because I could always just like protect and foul play and then it can't gambit. Uh, I absolutely want Cresselia. And then finally, Entei's pretty good into Zacian. Um, and it can hit Amoongus. And Snarl's nice into Lottie. Yeah, I think it's Entei. I mean, Umbreon's good too, but it's weak to Zacian. So uh, yeah, I don't want to bring that one in this matchup. Alright, I think those are the right four. I'm putting a lot of stock on Zamazenta winning this matchup, but I mean, he's better than his sister now, so maybe I should put a lot of stock in Zamazenta here. That's a trainer card, I guess. Alright, what do you got? Latios Grimmsnarl. Alright, you put your special attacker out right away. Fine, I guess. How much damage do I think that can actually do to Zamazenta though, like through light screen? Let's see this thing's stats. Oh, that is a lot of special defense investment. I think we're fine. Uh, and we're not going to get any KOs, so I'm just going to iron defense. And set light screen. We are light clay after all. Yeah, keeping it simple, turn one. They go for reflect, we go for light screen, fine by me. Whatever. And then it's just Dragon Pulse into Sableye? Alright. Fine. I'm gonna... I might go to plus five. <laughs> Alright. If you're not gonna threaten me, I'm gonna just go there. Uh, we're Terra Water. Um... Do I want to set Reflect? No, I don't care. kind of want to get Cresselia in and start, like, taking speed control, or do I want to get Entei in and start doing more damage? Because doing damage is going to be a slow game, so I think Cresselia coming in is the way to play it. They've got screens, so it's going to be a slow match. So Lunar Blessing would go a long way in this match, I think. Sableye can come in later and do stuff. It can't really do anything right now. That's one of the main flaws with Sableye, is like, you do the thing, and the thing is really good, but then you got nothing else to do, really, sometimes. Like, if they had an attack boosting mod or something. Oh, I don't care about my attacks, I take it. <laughs> I'm not gonna heavy slam anything, I'm just gonna body press everything. I'm gonna body press the Latios, yeah. I don't care that it resists. As long as you don't, like, Terra Ghost something. What do you got? Annihilate. Okay, that's something I was actually afraid of. Because if that Annihilate is Final Gambit, that's not good. But I mean, Cresselia can just Moonblast it, and while I protect. And if you trade your Annihilate for my Cresselia, I don't care. So I'll just protect and Moonblast, and we're good? Now, if you're actually a bulk upset, um, is that a problem? 
Moonblast will do some pretty good damage. I think you only got Reflect up, right? Moonbla Moonblast isn't going to be any crazy damage, but damage is damage. Might scare you into Terra. I'm just scared of Final Gambit. That's it. Ally Switch. Interesting. Oh, it's a Bulk Up Annihilate. Okay. That's... What's my plan into that? Oh, a special attack drop on Latios. Nice. Alright, now I'm going to body press the Latios. And this turned into a different game. This is a game where I bring in Entei and throw Sacred Fire at the Annihilate, trying to burn it. Yeah, that's my new plan. Because if I get the burn, we're pretty much good. And if I force them to Terra, then Zamazenta should be able to win. Problem is just how much damage they might be able to do. They haven't been hit yet though. So the Rage Fist isn't that strong. Uh, I'm wondering whether I should Terra Zamazenta in this game. And when to pull that out, if I do. Okay, it's Luster Purge. As long as you don't get a drop, I don't really care. That's not gonna do anything. You do get a special defense drop, though. Goodbye, Latios. You resist that. It's fine. You're good, right? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. No, you're not. And then Annihilate uses another bulk up. I'm terrified. Um, am I gonna lose to this Annihilate? I'd say it's about 50-50 right now. Cause that's the burn chance on Sacred Fire. Alright, Grimmy. Um, I have... I've only put up Light Screen. I could Terra Entei to dodge a single Rage Fist, but I would have to time it right. I'll body press the Grim. And just Sacred Fire Annihilate this turn. Oh, they fake out Entei, which does nothing. Because Inner Focus. Goodbye, Grim. Okay, what reflect? <laughs> and then I get the Sacred Fire. And hopefully a burn. A burn would win. And it's Drain Punch. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't go for the Terra. Uh, I need the burn so bad. And there's Zassy, and Zassy and I can body press. Body press the Zassian. Probably bring in Cresselia. I don't think Cresselia does anything anymore. Uh, Cause I, I just don't want, cause Zassian will move before Entei and I need Entei to get another hit off into this Annihilate to fish for a burn. If you would just Terra the Annihilate, I would be so happy. <laughs> but that's not gonna happen. Uh, maybe a crit is my end game. I do think odds are a, well, I mean odds are about 50-50 because I need to position another sacred fire. I did because I didn't get the first burn. I think I can win if I get a burn, but if I don't get a burn, I think Annihilate will win this. Here's a Terra. Can it be eight, please? Not nah, Zassian. Into Stellar. Oh, you want something gone. Most likely the Entei, but do you have like Sacred so No, it's Behemoth Blade. Yeah, Cresselia is not going to appreciate that. Ow. Oh, <laughs> but we eat. <laughs> Love it. Goodbye, Zassy. Oh, you're still alive. Hmm. What do I do about that? Oh, 
because I'm willing to give up Cresselia. I think I'll just body press Zacian again and go for a Lunar Blessing. If they let Cresselia stay alive, I can just heal up Zamazenta a bit. Because I could see that. I could see uh, Zacian protect. Yeah, that makes sense. And then do you take out Crest, though? That's my question. Yeah, you do take out Crest. Okay. Sableye now. Sableye the Sleepy. That's a good one. Alright, so yeah, I have to body press Zacian. I think I want to save Terra for Entei to maybe dodge one Rage Fist if they go for that. And the best thing Sableye can do... Is it Reflect? I think it's just click Foul Play into Annihilate. I might just get KO'd by Zacian. But that might be okay. So I don't need Sableye, I just need to body press the Zacian, and then to get a burn. But even with how low my Mons are, a burn might not even be enough. Okay, you just protect Annihilate. Fine. I guess they're worried about Will-O-Wisp. Which I don't have. It'd be nice to have, but I don't have it. Okay, here we go. This is how it's gonna be. Goodbye, Zacian. Uh, we also have the option to crit a Heavy Slam. Like, that is a possibility. Our light screen's gone. Okay, we weren't really using it. Yeah, a crit? from either of these moves here could be pretty big. And with how many times we've hit Ape, which is, what, once? We're gonna hit it a couple more times here, so Rage Fist will be stronger than even a super effective Drain Punch, so there's no reason really for Zamazenta to Terra. So I'm just gonna throw a Heavy Slam, I'm gonna Terra, I'm gonna throw a Sacred Fire, because this is what I've been wanting to do this whole time. And either it'll work or it won't. I hope it works. Uh, ideally, I get the burn, they waste a Rage Fist into Entei. That would be perfect. Or I just crit. Uh, that's not a crit. Alright, get the burn, Entei. You got this. And they drink. Yeah, we can't win. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Annihilate destroying! Yeah, Zamazenta. Uh, it doesn't really hit ghosts too well, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> and this specific ghost is a problem. Alright, how could I have played this better? Uh, I, I, I assumed it would be a final gambit annihilate. That was my main problem. Assuming it was final gambit pretty much ruined me. I could have fished for burns with Suicune too if I had brought that. I could have preserved... I could have taunted the Annihilate, so if it never got a boost up and I just never hit it, it's never a threat. I could have saved it for last if I had just kept taunting it. But now I need a crit. And I don't even know if a crit will kill from here. And Drain Punch, I think I live, yeah. So I get another chance. Leftovers. Uh, they might just protect here, but like, I still gotta click Heavy Slam. Very engaging gameplay I got here for you today. Oh yeah, and they protect. Mm-hmm. Smart play. Because you see, now you're more likely to live a critical hit Heavy Slam. That's a big brain play they got over there. I think Annihilate is so cool too, like just its design. I love Annihilate. Alright, clicking Heavy Slam. Just bu mashing the button until I lose. Ah, and there it goes. Goodbye, Zamazenta, you did your- One more time. Oh boy. 
Are you still there? Did you skip ahead to the next battle yet? Maybe I'll move this to the end for the people who are like really dedicated. This is the first battle I'm playing, but like I might not put this one first. Unless I get the crit here. If I get the crit here, this might be the first battle. Well, now you would know. Now you know what's about to happen based on where this is positioned in the video. Hmm. Okay, I take it back. I'm gonna put this somewhere random so you don't actually know what's gonna happen. I mean, you probably know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm almost out of heavy slams. Just KO me already. Rage Fist would do way more. And there it is. Ah. Alright, good game, I guess. That was so frustrating. <laughs> you stupid monkey. Alright, Zamazenta. We'll try again. Don't worry. Good game, Professor. Okay, we've got a Maridon. Uh. <laughs> Everybody used to be riding, riding these days. Uh, they have Golden Go, they have Iron Valiant. That's really cool. Iron Valiant is super cool. They've got some physical, but so much special. Zamazenta. People are ready for you nowadays, I guess. Alright, we need Sableye. I don't hate Sableye Entei. That's good into pretty much everything that isn't Ogre Pond. An Ogre Pond, Zamazenta does okay into. Not super great, because like I could always get crit, but pretty good. And Zamazenta, no, Zamazenta's bad here. They have Golden Go. Oh no, they have Golden Go. Do I bench Zamazenta? Does that make any sense? I haven't even brought Umbreon in the last match. No, it doesn't make sense to bench Zamazenta. Just because there's one Pokemon it can't hit, everything else can hit it. Cresselia can't hit it either. So we're not gonna- we're, we're just gonna drop Cresselia. Suicune isn't the play because of the Ogre Pond and the Maridon. Yeah. Okay. I think I have the right four. Uh, arguably Zamazenta or Cresselia. Not both. But like, that's a decent trainer card. I like how that uh, unusual ball looks like. I mean, I wish they had just transferred the Legends Arceus balls, but no such luck. Oh, great. It's an Ogre Pond. I'm going to set up Light Screen. I'm gonna Terra, and I'm gonna Stomping Tantrum the Maridon. This is risky. They could just follow me, or they could just use Electro Drift into Entei, or they could double up into Entei and it's just enough. Okay, it's a Terra Electric. Okay, Stomping's good then. Uh, would you follow me here? I don't think so, but like, if they did, psh, there goes my turn one. Um, I couldn't protect with Entei. I could, I could have snarled, but that doesn't get me much. I'd rather do damage to Maridon. Okay, Light Screen comes out, that means there's no follow me. That's great. Volt Switch comes out, that's bad. Because that means I'm not getting any damage into Maridon. But at least Sableye... Sableye, why do you always live so low? Man. I guess you're trained right, is what that means. Oh, damage into Golden Go, I'll take it. You know what, I, I was mad at first, but I'll take this. This is a trade I am happy with. Or I would have been happy with if that had done any damage at all. What the... Uh, reflect and Golden Go just protects. It's my guess. 
<laughs> yeah, my guess would be Golden Go Protect, if it has it. Could be Specs. No, because you wouldn't put Specs on it. Mariana would have Specs with Bolt Switch. Yeah, so I think it protects. I'm gonna reflect and Sacred Fire the Ogre Pond. Oh, it just swaps. That's the same difference. Into Iron Valiant. Okay, I know all your Pokemon now. Wish I got a little more damage on the Golden Go, but honestly, Zamazent is not looking too bad nowadays. Now that I know what you got and I got some damage down, I'd be Cudgel, shouldn't KO. Sacred Fire, burn please. No burn. Oh well. Uh, I could throw an extreme speed, or... I could throw a taunt. Sableye is pretty useless. I, it's just gonna throw a taunt somewhere. Probably into Valiant. I don't know what Valiant's up to. I don't know if I want to know what Valiant's up to. Yeah, I'll extreme speed into Valiant and taunt it. Ogre Pond might like Spiky Shield or something, but it didn't. I'll take that chip. And I'll taunt you. I don't know what you're gonna do, but I wanna make sure that you don't have as many options. Close combat into Sableye. That's an interesting play for sure. And then you knock out Sableye. Huh. I gotta say, I did not see that coming. Definitely didn't see that coming. <laughs> I don't really understand it. But I didn't see it coming. Alright, defense boost. Don't think I need any more defense boosts. Golden Go, it doesn't care. Maridon. The iron the, the body press damage will care. But I think I just want a heavy slam valiant. I'll extreme speed into Ogre Pond. How about that? It might do enough. I don't think so. I think it'll be like super low. Ah, yeah, there it is. Super low. And now, now you close combat the right thing. <laughs> Were you aiming for that? Was that a misclick before? I need to know. Okay, I don't need to know. I want to know. I also want to know the speed interaction between Zamazenta and Ogre Pond. Unfortunately, it's Ogre Pond first. Just don't crit me. Thank you. Alright, Maridon and Golden Go. There's a chance. I don't, I, th we haven't lost. The ability to protect is pretty big. Oh, Golden Go. Not into Maridon first, eh? Cool. Would Ogre Pond protect? I could see Ogre Pond either using Follow Me or Spiky Shield here. So I kind of want to just double into Golden Go. Like, Ogre Pond's going to move before Zamazenta anyway, so I can just knock it out with Snarl if it attacks. I think this is my best play. Uh, Golden Go Protect, actually. Interesting. Ivy Cudgel into Umbreon. Ah, uh, yeah, you know the threat. You know the real threat. Okay, uh, I guess that could have been a free Iron Defense, but it's no big deal. Um, no, it is a big deal, because I wanted to get Golden Go weakened before Maridon came in. Because now we're playing a guessing game. Oh, and the electricity ends just in time for them to bring it back. Ooh, that's really bad. Okay, well... 
Let's look at my options. I need to get a Snarl. They think Golden Go can win the end game against Zamazenta, so they're gonna Electro Drift Umbreon. That is my final answer. They are 100% going to click Electro Drift onto Umbreon. 100%. Guaranteed. Yeah, I knew it. There's not too much I can do about that. I think Body Press is a two shot. Yeah, okay. And make it rain! Oh! I don't hate to hear that. Okay, so my win condition. I mean, Zamazenta might be able to beat Golden Go, but probably won't. So I need to body press Maridon and get a double protect. And then I win. Uh, Golden Go goes for protect. Who cares? Who cares? Umbreon. Okay, if you don't get the double, you just have to take an Electro Drift, that's all. We have Light Screen. Don't forget Light Screen's up. Like, this is a, one of the strongest hits in the world, but Light Screen's up. Oh, it's into Zamazenta! Aw, oh, man! <laughs> oh. I mean, we still have one turn of Light Screen. There's no way we take down Maridon. <laughs> Foul play is my best bet. A crit foul play, but I would have to take this Electro Drift, which I think I barely take this, and then make it rain finishes it. Maridon is just crazy. Okay. Stop pairing me with Maridon, please. Good game, Sua. Oh, jeez. Alright, and we are back from just getting electrocuted by Maridons left and right, apparently. Um, anyways, thanks again, Rondon, for making this team. I had a blast. Uh, I never really brought Suicune, uh, but that's because, I mean, there were no matchups for Suicune there. Uh, we didn't fight much variety on the ladder today. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. Leave a like on my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm Jordy, and, uh, alright. Peace. <laughs>